I'm going to get started on your reading. Uh, I would like to let you know how I go about doing my readings before I do it, and then I'll just dive right in. Um, the way I like to do it, I don't know too many other people that actually do it this way, but I do it this way because I'm not face-to-face, -face, I'm not in person, and it's just easier for me to write down my notes. Um, so yeah, what I like to do is do the spread, lay out the cards, get my gut instincts from the cards, and then I go through my tarot books, get the actual definition, and then what I do is make notes. Um, that way I keep um, in line when I'm doing the readings. Um, it's just easier and more organized, and that way I could remember um, pretty much everything so I don't forget anything. Um, I highly suggest getting a pen and paper if you want to take notes um, or if you want to pause the video, ask me a question about a specific card if you have any um, questions um, or concerns or if, if maybe this reading didn't make sense at all to you. Um, if you don't get anything from it, I could always do another reading. But yeah, um, just keep an open mind and also if it doesn't make sense now, it could make sense in the future. I've had reading, I've done readings where it's been like a year and my friend comes back and be like, oh my god, that totally happened. So, so yeah, just keep that in mind when I um, pull the cards, take notes, think about it. Um, you could also ask other friends and family members if it makes sense to them, if it doesn't make sense to you. But I have a feeling this is going to make sense because it it um, mostly was about your life and your situation now. So I'm really excited and I hope it makes sense. Let me know if it does. If it doesn't, I'll try to do another reading. So yeah, um, the spread I chose for you was a horseshoe spread. It is a seven card spread with... I do a kicker. It's a clarification card at the very end, and that's just a bonus that I like to throw in there. It touches base on um, things I might have missed, and it kind of summarizes the whole reading, and I think I did pretty good on that one. So yeah, the first card, um, so in a, a horseshoe spread, there, like I said, there's seven cards, so as it goes down the list, it it's past, present, what's helping, obstacles, um, attitudes, what you should do, outcome, and then the clarification card. I I kind of just go by my gut instincts and kind of don't pay too much attention to that. I just get my feelings and yeah. So yeah, let me get started. The first card that I pulled for you is the Five of Swords. Ooh. Yeah, Five of Swords, and it was actually reversed. Now, reverse cards have multiple meanings. Multiple meanings, it could be the opposite of exactly what the card means. So if it means happy, um, the general meaning, if it's happy, it would mean sad. So opposite, or it could also mean um, other people's perspectives on the situation, or it could represent how you should feel, how you should change your mind uh, setting. Um, change your opinion, that sort of thing, or it could also mean um, future, how you're going to feel in the future. So it is a reverse card, and the Five of Swords, okay, I'm going to look at my notes. Okay, so this card to me represents needing to work within limits or boundaries or accepting accepting something, accepting restrictions, and moving on. In every situation, there's pros and cons, triumphs and losses. It's a struggle for everyone. And then, I don't know if you could actually see, but there's three people. Three people in the in the picture. Now, if I'm doing a relationship, meaning, uh, relationship reading, three people in this card represents um, like a love affair or a family member or a friend coming either either coming into the picture or leaving the picture. So if you had a falling out with a friend or family member, um, if you've left, like if you've moved, you've left friends behind and that is the third person in your relationship or in your life. I am assuming that you are married and that you have children, so it could also mean that you have the third person as your child. So. That's what that is. Let's see, where was I? So three people, it says, evaluate the situation. Consider what may be too big to handle. 
Uh, defeat and victory. Think about your position in light of both possibilities. Obstacles to overcome, something you can't have, swallowing pride, walking away from something. So, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've had a conversation about you moving here, that you're new here. But to me, you asked you ask for a general reading, and to me... It feels like this card is touching base on, on your move and having to leave behind friends and family members and it's been a struggle to you. So let me move on to the next card and see if I might be able to come back to that one. So it looks like you got a lot of reverse cards. This one's also reversed, if you could see in the picture. This is the Page of Pentacles. So pages and pentacles. So pages are usually messengers, and they usually have to do with feelings and children. But this is a pentacle, and pentacles are referring to money, finances. Um, could also mean uh, represent fortitude and your strength and that sort of thing. So this is reversed, multiple meanings. Page of pentacles reversed. Serious young person... It talks about worries and work. Works hard. I'm sorry, my chicken scratch writing is hard to read. When I write my notes, I literally just jot them down really fast. I don't really pay attention to what I'm writing. So sometimes it, it either doesn't make sense or I can't read it. So uh, hopefully I can read it. Um, let's see. Works hard to achieve small goals. And then the page... Um, represents small or new beginnings or their messengers relating to children. Um, pentacles equals finances. And then if you could see, sh this person is actually in a field. And in this card, uh, the field represents potential that has yet to be discovered. It says, prepared to work hard to achieve goals. And then... If you can see in the background, there's actually a rabbit. It's like super blurry and small, but, but yeah, that's a that's supposed to be a rabbit. <laughs> um, let's see. The rabbit is fertility, so it's bringing up children again. This card shows a so fertility is children. Um, if you didn't know, <laughs> this card shows a period of hard work and effort at the beginning of a new project, early stages, not much to show for it yet. Great possibilities for growth and maturity. If struggling financially or something starts off small, like friends, um, so this is a general reading. So it could represent family, it could represent love, it could represent money, it could represent pretty much anything, right? So at this point in the reading, it's talking about something starting off small that you your world right now, where you have moved, where you are at in life. It feels so small and confined that you don't know anybody. Your whole world is, that's it, that you're, it's small. And it's talking about that. Um, if you're struggling financial or something starts off small, like friends or general, has potential to get big. Careful with plans. Most careers start at the bottom and work to the top. Be humble and work hard. So I don't know if you personally have a job here or if you're looking for a job, but it's talking about um, career, career opportunities, and that's what Pentacles, Pentacles are referring to, um, to money, finance, business, um, fortitude, strength, um, could also represent friendships, um, so yeah, it's it, it feels like you're starting over. Like literally brand new friends, brand new atmosphere, brand new job, and it's a lot of pressure. So let's see what the next one is. So this next one is the fool. And this is what's helping. So the fool it it, it talks about new beginnings, excitement, risk. Pending adventure, and it talks about your move, and then a new job, new challenges and circumstances. And then if you can see, this person has a bundle, a bundle, it's like a, a sack. It's his worldly possessions. And in this card, that represents the past. 
whatever is behind you, leave it there. That it is basically your past, which, uh, let me read my notes. Okay, so the past lost its usefulness. And then if you see, there's a dog. Sometimes in other cards, there's an alligator or other things. But in this card, it's an, a dog. And the dog represents warnings or fears of change. Um, could represent doubts. Um, basically, what this guy is doing, he's literally about to walk off this cliff. And he has all... All the confidence in the world, right? Like, nothing could go bad. He's really confident. Um, that sort of thing. Well, this dog is warning him. So, that could either be your inner doubt, um, your inner struggles with the situation. It could represent other people's um, doubts and insecurities about the situation. Um, like, if family members were like, I don't know if you should do this. Um, but, yeah, that's what the dog represents. Let's see. So warnings, fears of change, fears of change. And it talks about an urge to improve, explore and expand and initiate. So when I was writing that, explore, expand and initiate. So you're having trouble. My stage went out. So you're having trouble. You just moved here. You're trying to make new friends, that sort of thing. I don't know where your confidence level is right now or at all. It, how how well you're... Sorry. If, if you have that high confidence level where you, um, you are easy to make friends, like you are able to go out... <laughs> If you have social anxiety, I personally have social, social anxiety, and I have a really bad memory. I don't remember the conversation we had about you moving here, um, but it's talking about that, that you may have that sort of um, fear of change, fear of meeting new people, and that sort of thing, and it it's saying explore expand and initiate so that's immediately what i what came to mind when i was writing that is that you just need to go for it if you were to be happy here um let's see <laughs> cover up my face so let's see card of change doubts and insecurities bold conviction so bold conviction is that confidence i'm talking about he he is not struggling whatsoever with this. So this is what, this card represents what is helping. So in the spread, the seven, um, the horseshoe spread, the way this card lies, this is what will help the situation and help you relieve that kind of tension and um, fear or what have you going on. That's what's helping is having that bold conviction, having that confidence, getting yourself out there, Make an initiative. Make an initi initiative. If you're trying to find a new job, take initiative. Put your foot on the concrete. Don't give up. Have that happy, bubbly confidence. Even if that's not you, even if that's not your personality, which I think you're pretty cute. I think you, you might have that uh, that confidence level up there. So, so, yeah, it's talking about having that bold conviction. Hold... Hold your head up high. Be proud. Show your yourself and your skills. Risks, risks are involved. You moving here, there's a huge risk. Um, time is ripe for change. Okay, so this next one is obstacles. I don't like this one. So this is the Eight of Swords reversed. So if you could see, it's a really dark card. I'm not a fan of this card, but it has a happy silver lining. So restriction, fear of change, and this, when I was writing my notes, I keep bringing up your move and what, what you're going through. Uncomfortable situation, but if you look, 
If you look in the card, she's surrounded by swords, and there's actually room for her to move around those swords. So she's not technically restrained. Yeah, she's blindfolded and tied together, but she's able to move if she pleases. Um, uncomfortable situation, but if you look, she's able to move freely. If she or you can summon the courage and the blindfold, she's blindfolded. Um, that is the reluctance or inability to face the truth. There's confusion and isolation, unable to see, new surroundings, not knowing your, your way. So when you move to a situation, new, new place, you don't know your way around, you don't know anybody, you don't know who to talk to, you don't know, you don't know anything about this town, right? So it's talking about all that isolation and not able to see and when I was writing unable to see I also got the feeling that you're unable to see yourself here in the long run that you you're looking for that that you're looking for a more stable situation um but yeah hold on a second I think my husband came home from work yeah, he's home. Okay, so where was I? Um, da -da 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 -da. New surroundings, not knowing your way. Okay, okay, here I'm at. Indecision, confusion, imprisoned by your fear, insecurities, uncertainties due to the situation, fear of change. If fears can be overcome, and positive actions can be made, matters can improve. So it's up to you if you want to have a happy life here and enjoy yourself while you're here to kind of break down your walls and break down your guard and kind of get out. So the next card is going to represent attitudes. This one's good. So this is the world. This represents success, completion, attainment, and the, the wreath that's surrounding them. Success um, or high achievement. And the circle, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, the circle that it makes. Um, it represents eternity. Um, there's a few different things in here. Okay, so some of these um, characters are that's surrounding the card, these four corners, they're actually the zodiac, like the birth, birth zodiacs, zodiac symbols and elements, and then the person in the center. Um, the person in the center represents the fifth element, the perfect complete balance. Harmony should be a time of celebration may be short-lived followed by emptiness the cycle continues never ending it's a never-ending journey so what this card is talking about is to me it feels like you were really excited in the beginning to be able to to move and let me change this song it's a horrible song So in the beginning you were really excited to move and get a new place and that sort of thing and it's talking about you finally coming here and um, now it's kind of like, well now what? You know, where am I going to go? Who am I going to talk to? That sort of thing. So it's, it's saying that it can be successful, it could be a really positive experience, the height of attainment, it says goal reached. So. It could be a positive situation, but it's up to you. And it keeps referring to that, that it's up to you if you want to make this a good place. Okay, so the next card I pulled is what you should do. This is actually one of my favorite cards, even though it's like kind of dark. Um, this is the Eight of, yeah, the Eight of Cups, but you got it reversed. So the Eight of Cups, if you can see, it's a cloth cloaked figure walking up a hillside there's an arch of cups the cups are placed like delicately on top like there was a lot of purpose and initiative and it took a lot of time and energy to build those cups that way and he's heading towards that dark mountain so let me read my my notes 
Turning away from the known, moving towards the unfamiliar. Um, okay, so my notes are kind of chicken scratch. Let me see. Okay. A life once led, and then the life will... Okay, so the, the cups will represent your past life. The cups... Um, <laughs> My chicken scratch, I can't read this word. A life once led has changed or is, has been left behind. Effort has been put into the old life. Lots of love and energy, but something of higher value is being put in front of you. Something with great meaning or great potential. Time to let go of something from the past. There comes a time when it's clear that a situation, a person, place, or thing has run its course. It requires faith and hope to abandon the familiar. There are times when this is the best action to take. It keeps going back to that, that even though you have left everything that you know, there are better opportunities. There are there, this is a good opportunity for you, basically, that even though it looks like it's going to be really, really hard, like walking up this hill, and you don't know what is up that mountain, there, there is good opportunity there. Okay, darling, so this is the outcome. This is the tower reversed. So usually this, when I get this in a relationship reading, it feels like all hell is breaking loose, right? That there's dysfunction leading to chaos and it's not a good situation, but this is not how I feel it. It's reversed for one, so it's the opposite of that, but, but yeah. I feel like this is a really good card. Breaking down old restrictive, restrictive structures, clear the way ahead, reflection, change, metamorphosis. So metamorphosis is like a butterfly in a cocoon or a caterpillar in a cocoon changing into a butterfly. So a, a big major change, a life changing change. <laughs> Um, cleaning out old wounds so healthier can grow. So when you get a cut, you need to clean all that dirt and germs and all that sort of thing out so you, your wounds can heal, right? So it's talking about that. Let's see. It talks about getting rid of old, limitations, imprisonment, emotional or physical restraint, the need to find new ways to do things, continual improvement, things outliving their purpose, and change. Oh, an opportunity and an opportunity for change. Evaluate self reflection, spring cleaning. Once old or bad, once old or bad um, blockages are released. It makes room for new visions and possibilities, so pay attention. The last and final card that I'm going to pull for you is a clarification. It's going to summarize the whole reading and may touch base on new things. So the card that you pull, that I pulled for you is the Hanging Man. Sacrifice, forfeit. Forfeiting one thing to gain something more valuable or desired. What looks like an uncomfortable situation at first glance, there really isn't any struggle. Maturity, growth, determination, unconventional unconventional life paths. So unconventional unconventional life paths. When I think of that, it's something that like normally in society it it doesn't fit the norm. Like like say back in the day it was faux pas to have a baby without being married or living together without being married so it's talking about unconventional um life paths that 
moving away from friends and family isn't something that somebody normally does. So it's talking about that. Not the normal way of life. Rising above. Nece uh, it's necessary to make sacrifices in order to bring about improvements. Have faith, hope, and trust. So yeah, hun, I'm going to leave you with that. I, I have to go up to my husband and um, heat up his dinner and um, get to bed. So I hope you can make sense of this. I hope it helps you in some way. If it doesn't, just let me know. I hope you have a good night. Talk to you later. Bye!